master and crew of MT Heroic Adun detained in Nigeria and Equatorial Guinea. Reason of detention, obvious intention of lifting crude oil within the field, albeit illegally. Mount Heroic Adun, IMO 9858058 is a registered in Marshall Island. As per Nigerian Coast Guard, NNS Gongola arrived at Po Oil Field and interrogated Mount Heroic Adun, which included asking her intention, mission and approval status to enter at Po Field among others. As their Nigerian Naval Authority, the captain of the vessel duly responded to the questions and but also stated ship was not having relevant clearance to operate. In the field, Tanker was ordered to turn around and follow an NS Gongola to Bani Anchorage pending when she will be cleared for loading by NNPC LTD. Captain of the tanker after contacting with his shipping agent refused to cooperate with NNS Gongola and stated that she had been told not to take directions from Nigerian naval ship. After that she proceeded with full speed south towards the Sao Tome and Principe Maritime area in order to avoid arrest. Master of the tanker also refused lawful arrest and made a broadcast of false piracy attack by calling him Piracy Reporting Center to mislead mariners that NNS Gongola was a pirate vessel. On the piracy alert the Nigerian Navy also alerted him Piracy Center and other relevant piracy reporting centers headed by Nigerian Navy officers for the alert to be cancelled immediately which was done. Nigeria Naval also stated hence this mischievous act by the ship is clearly aimed at tarnishing the good image of the maritime domain of Nigeria, which we have worked very hard to achieve. Nigerian naval ship was therefore vectored to intercept and arrest Mount Heroic Adun on August 12, 22. The vessel is held at the Luba Anchorage in Bioko Island, Equatorial Guinea where the country is conducting her investigating. Now you will see the version of Shipmaster. Hello, I'm Captain Tanuj Mehta of Motor Tanker Heroic Idun. It is registered with Marshall Islands and managed by OSM Maritime Group. On, uh, we are arrested in Equatorial Guinea and today the vessel is being handed over illegally to Nigerian authorities. We were arrested uh, by Equatorial Guinea warship on an uh, announcement by Nigeria uh, from international waters on 12th of August and brought to Equatorial Guinea on 14th of August. Since then till now we have been uh, kept as uh, detained in Equatorial Guinea. Fifteen of the crew members were taken ashore on 14th of August when the vessel arrived in Equatorial Guinea and 11 crew members were left on board. We have been repeatedly investigated by Equatorial Guinea authorities and Nigerian naval authorities also uh, in Equatorial Guinea. Uh, although our, uh, no harassment was done to us, living conditions were reasonable, various people suffered from diseases like myself, I suffered from malaria and I am still suffering from typhoid. Uh, other crew members also suffered from malaria and uh, it has not been a pleasant experience and we do not know how the situation will be with us when we go to Nigeria. And the governments are trying to help us, the Indian government is actively trying to help us, our company and the owners are also trying to help us, but in uh, this part of the world it doesn't seem to be working and this illegal detention and illegal handover of the vessel to Nigeria. Uh, is uh, something under uh, beyond anybody's control and uh, this is all illegal operation. Uh, my name is Sanu Jos, I am Chief Officer of the ship. On 14th August, the authorities from the Equatorial Guinea has uh, investiga investigated on the ship. They have inspected all the accommodation and the common spaces, cargo tanks and they could not find anything. They could not find a drop of uh, oil from our ship yes. and uh, they were cleared. And we were like 11 people on board the ship, like last three months we were suffering with the fatigue, we had to share all the work, it is a very big ship and then we have been going through a very, uh, very uh, big, uh, big difficulties here. So we would like, uh, uh, we request you to assist us for uh, getting release our ship from here and then uh, uh, we wanted to go back to our families. Myself, uh, Vijay Tikraman Nair, third officer of this uh, heroic Edwin, uh, royal ship. Like uh, we have been totally uh, don't know what to do in this situation. All the crew has been suffered a lot, and we have been suffered for like with diseases like malaria, typhoid, and I myself tested two times. Captain also tested two, two times malaria. And please, authorities, please help us in this scenario to overcome this. Please help us and please save us. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe this video among your friends and colleagues.
Join our Telegram channel for latest maritime updates and exams preparations.